Right now, it's too early to get any concrete figures, but I can tell you the water crisis is costing the city and the state thousands of dollars in sales tax revenue. It's closed for a week because of Jackson's water crisis. Basically starting our, the first week of the year with no sales is, was a tough pill to swallow. For seven days, the Fondren business made no money and generated no state sales tax. I can tell you that us being shut down last week cost the state you know, a little under $1,000 in tax revenue. Jackson gets 18.5% of the state's 7% sales tax on every dollar spent at retail businesses. Two-thirds of that tax goes to the state's general fund. And because Barrel House wasn't the only Jackson business forced to close, the city and state could be losing lots of revenue. Grow that exponentially based on the number of businesses that were affected and had to close, then, you know, it's some pretty staggering math. It starts to add up. Yeah, and, and money that, you know, the city and the state needs to fix the infrastructure issues. Other restaurants like the Mayflower Cafe downtown didn't have to close, but still lost money. Managed say many customers haven't been coming out to eat because they thought water problems affected the whole city. And it's frustrating when, you know, not just us, but all these other local business owners are trying to continue to revitalize and, and grow things here. And uh, the infrastructure fails us, you know, very basic needs and very basic systems that we have to have to live, much less operate a business. Now, the Jackson Convention and Visitors Bureau is entirely funded by a 2% tourism tax. That lost revenue could mean that agency could have to adjust their budget later this year.